Uncle, where the blazes is he? He's probably gone out looking for a good time again. It'll be his undoing, mark my words. Let's see what the mad old codger's been up to lately. Roderick Bandersnatch's good time formula. My secret blend of essential oils, quartz crystals, and animal parts has resulted in success. Harnessing the body's natural circadian rhythm to trigger a transformation. Senses and animal magnetism are heightened between the hours of 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. daily, guaranteeing a good time for the host for 12 hours every day. On subsequent pages, I've written the formula to reverse the effects, if desired. It looks like he's already knocked back half of it. I bet he's out there now trying his luck with the local strumpets. The Randy Galoot. I guess it's safe to give it a try. What's your problem? Oh well, down the hatch. Good heavens! It tastes like rancid sloth offal. Uh oh. I don't feel so good. Cripes! If this is my uncle's idea of a good time, no wonder my aunt left him. I should probably mix up that reversing formula quickly. It's got cold tea in it. Absolutely, these things will always be popular. He only gets up if there's food on offer. It's empty. It's Smirnoff, my uncle's old dog. It looks like my uncle bought himself a new dog. He smells like my uncle. It's my grandfather. He went for a beard trim and never came back. It's my uncle's violin. Gently, gently. Bugger. One of the strings snapped off. It's my uncle's walking cane. Why not? No one else is using it. Keep off the grass. It's an oak tree. That big branch looks handy. Okay. It's a sea of red poppies. Now that's a smell I won't forget in a hurry. Let me see. It's after 8 p.m. Let's see what happens if I move us forward 12 hours. I think the formula is wearing off. I think I'm only going to stay like this for the next 12 hours. I'd better mix up the antidote quickly. He's a professional louse tamer. Oh, look at those little guys jumping around. If I stood any nearer to them, I'd probably end up getting infested. He's a professional louse tamer. Nice lice. Thank you. It takes years of hard work to train them to jump like that. How do you train your lice? I let them swim around in amphetamine for 20 minutes every morning. Can I have some of your lice? They are not for sale, but are free to leave whenever they wish. I like your moustache. Thank you. You should get yourself one. Where does your traveling circus travel to? From the farthest reaches of the east to the great unknown of the west. You mean you go up and down the street? Yes. Bye. So long. Hey, his lice just tried to jump onto me but couldn't grip onto my silky smooth skin. He's not a happy guy.
What's wrong? My betrothed has left me. Why has she left you? She found a better man. Was he of a less porcine stature? Absolutely not. My mama craves substantial love. No, it was his weird, his luscious, scented, manicured, exquisite beard. I just couldn't compete. Why don't you just go and get your beard trimmed? I can't be seen out on the street like this. I'm a wreck. Just dry your eyes and get yourself to the barbers. I don't have a handkerchief to wipe away my bitter anguish. Bye. It Here you go. Dry your eyes with this. Why, thank you. Right. I'm off to have my beard beautified. Goodbye, kind stranger. Oh, he'll have a nice time at the barber's. Hello there. Good day to you, Mr. Bandersnatch, sir. Good day to you, Urchin. I ain't gonna be an Urchin for much longer. I'm in the regional finals of Ragamuffin Idol next Friday. What's Ragamuffin Idol? It's the national competition for waifs and strays to show the world their skills. What skills? Poloining, misappropriation, pilfering, a good old-fashioned delinquency. Good luck. You'll get my telephone vote. What's a telephone? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure why I said that. What are you doing? Offering food scraps to those further down the social ladder than myself. It gives me a sense of enormous well-being. Park life, eh? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. May I have a go? This is the last of my precious bird seed, you know. Please, may I have some of your bird seed? All right. In exchange for an equal token of self-congratulatory altruism. Come again. Give me some sweets. Oh, I see. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Bladderpatch, sir. The Balding Dog. I don't think that's hair tonic. That guy from the bench is in there now. I think he's hoping they take the whole lot off. That's curious. I wonder what it's for. Today's special, locally sourced, lean, meat. I prefer a greasy pie myself. And those quotation marks. Put me off a bit. She's worked here so long, she probably tastes like pie. Good day, young lady. Don't try and sweet talk me. You're completely covered in pie grease, Mrs. Figgins. It's to keep parasites away. You haven't seen any around, have you? It's like they're attracted to me. Why do you have a bonnet like that in a kitchen? It soaks up sweat and pie grease, although it does make it treacherously flammable. What pies do you have? Lean meat only today. I'm in the mood for a greasy pie. That all depends on the meat supply. If you don't like what we have, you can sod off. Where does your meat 
come from? It's all sourced very locally. Bye. It looks well dodgy. Some sexy stockings with a tight weave. They're just my size. Steve's sweets. He looks entrepreneurial. Hello. How's the sweetie business? I'm offering a free minty bum hole to every customer to try and get rid of them. Can I have a free sweet? They're in the bowl. Only one per customer. What do you do at night? This place turns into a juice bar. I offer free samples of those too. What free juice samples do you have at night? We have an arsenic cleanser, a cyanide buzz, and a regular poppy juice. The problem is, they all look the same, so it's a lucky dip. Bye. See you later. Ooh, minty bum hugs. Don't mind if I do. It's peeling off the door. It looks just my size. Okay, I think there's enough glue on it. Wow, there's no way anyone will recognize me now. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Now I can get rid of my amazing disguise. You can have these if you give me that bird seed. Oh, at first fair, it's nearly all gone anyway. You drive a hard bargain. It's long and has a shiny knob at one end. Okay, I'll tie them together with this violin string. Okay. I should probably attach them to something first. That should help filter out any solid matter. Okay, in it goes. In they go. Maybe I should light that fire now. Okay. Uh-oh. I feel all funny. Oh, great. Now I'm all big and hairy again. Oh, look at those little guys jumping around. If I stood any nearer to them, I'd probably end up getting infested. Hey, some of the circus lice just crawled onto me. <laughs> I like that. Do it again. Just sniff me. Not recently. <laughs> Don't. Why would I, you mankish guff snatcher? Spaff weasel. 
Got it. Jabber snark. Whiffle pop. Clump angler. Snuff wobble. Shittleberry. Final stop, chaps. Meet your tasty new host. Funk dunk. Trunk whistle. Cloth. Oh, me head's itchy. Just don't sniff me. It again. feels like there's a ferret in me bonnet. Better let me scalp breathe a bit. Okay. That doesn't need a bonnet. Lovely. I've covered up its knob. Okay then. I have no idea why I'm doing this. This one doesn't smell familiar. This one smells like those poppies in the park. I'll take this one. Okay. Good day, young lady. Don't try and sweet talk me. What a precious little dress you have on. Why, thank you. You're looking absolutely radiant today, Mrs. Figgins. Oh, stop it. These pies smell absolutely divine. May I try one? I'll think about it. You're truly glowing today, Mrs. Figgins. Oh, you. Please, may I sample one of your pies? Oh, go on then, you little charmer. Now the bonnet's all greasy. Okay. Okay. Walking around with this inside my cloak's going to be a delicate operation. Oh man, this stuff, hoaks. Look at that, it's still clean. I'm still going to boil it first though. In you go, it's just got water in it. It needs more ingredients. In you go, it's full of water and poppy juice, but it's missing a final ingredient. I don't want to make it all greasy. No, this is my pie. It smells a bit like that guy I met on the bench earlier. Hang on, there's something metal sticking out of it. Holy crap, that could have been nasty. Here boy, don't move. Got some? In you go. Water, poppy juice, and a little pinch of dog hair. Perfect. I think... Right, here we go. That's roaring now. Right, let's try it out. Hey, this doesn't taste too bad.
Well, this is just dandy. I did try to warn you. 